good morning and praise the Lord. This is a wonderful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And today is Friday. We thank God for the week. We thank him for the word that he has constantly reminded us on how to live uh, with communal unity. Yesterday we looked at that the unity thrives when there is humility. Today we live with the Bible as our guide. Let us pray. Our Lord and our Father, once again we approach the throne of grace, knowing us, knowing that in our hearts, the Lord, you are listening to each one of us. We humble ourselves before thee. We acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge your goodness. Because, Lord, you have been so faithful to each one of us. You have led us well. You have taught us, Lord. Now I pray that you will give us the spirit that is receptive to your word. I pray that it will grow and come to fruition for the glory and honor of your holy name. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I want to welcome you to these daily homilies from All Saints Cathedral, Nairobi. And my name is Reverend Alice. I thank God for this day. On verse four of Romans chapter 15 says, for whatever was written in the past was written for our instruction so that we may have hope through endurance and through the encouragement from the scripture. Paul was writing this concerning the disputes that were there during the, the church in Rome between the Gentiles and the Jews. Again, we can reflect this passage that the passage is written so that even when we go through, and through tough times, we can be able to endure and to be encouraged by the same scripture. God has communicated throughout ages through his word and this is how he wants us to live our lives. Paul says that what is written in the scripture is for our instruction, one, and it is for our benefit. So when we follow the instructions that are given in the scripture, we benefit in our lives. Therefore, it is good for us to know what God wants for us. It is good for us to know that among other things, God wants us to love our brothers and sisters in the faith who are weak. We had seen that the Jews had a problem with the Gentiles because of what they ate. And in that regards, the Jews were regarded as the strong and the Gentiles as the weak. And even today in our churches, there are some young Christians who are still young in faith 
And the Lord is calling the ones who are mature in faith to love their sisters and brothers in faith and also to bear with them and also to be strong for them. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, the scripture says, Paul has written, all scripture is inspired by God and is profitable for teaching, for rebuking, for correcting, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. We are being encouraged as we continue to reflect and to study the book of Romans that unity in the church as believers is fundamental. It will be able to reflect the kind of Christians that we are, how we are able to attract those who are not believers. They will be able to see how we support and uplift those who are weak, and therefore the word of God will continue to have roots in the hearts of men as it is exhibited in our actions, in our conduct, and in our words. The Bible continues to teach us that we should love God we, should, we are called to love God just the way God loves us. The same love we are being called to love our neighbors. And by loving our neighbors, by praising God, we are able to show the unity in the body of Christ. The Bible continues to tell us that we should love others and also just the way God loves us. And also the Bible instructs us on the way we should live our, our, our Christian life that is pleasing to God. Therefore, we are being encouraged to continue reflecting on the word of God because the word of God will continue to rebuke when it is necessary, to correct when it is necessary, just like Paul was uh, correcting and teaching the church in Rome when there was dispute. The Lord is also calling us to be prudent and to take up the mantle to continue with the good work that was started by Jesus Christ and written by Apostle Paul. He continued to say, whatever is written in the past was written for our instructions. It is good always as Christians to follow the instructions of our Lord Jesus Christ so that even when we are going through tough times, we are able to endure and also to be encouraged by the word. Therefore, we live with the Bible as our guide. And I share this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.